Alrighty then, this next movie has absolutely nothing to do with horror. Well, maybe Nicole Kidman's hairstyle, but I find that if you stare at her rear end long enough, you can forget about that. But here's the deal, back in the 90s, all Tom wanted to do was go fast. Some said he had a one track mind, and then he met Nicole and that got his engine revving. Yep, it's Tom and Nicole back together again in Days of Thunder, if you hadn't already guessed. So how are you, Doc? How cold this really is, Dr. The Wicked. I was just about to go off duty. You thought you'd come by to look me over. Well, it's not a bad idea. Feel your vision's restored? Oh, I think so. Nothing's blurred, you're not seeing double. No halos around objects, flashing lights. Now, hold, hold, what, are you, what are you gonna do with this? Look into your eyes. Oh, no, Doc. Doc. Isn't this what you're really looking for? Well, that's interesting enough, Mr. Trickle. But it's just not my specialty. Looks like the cruise missile's going into launch mode and somebody's gonna be feeling the thunder. Well, looks like we found something. Hmm, anyway, if you didn't already know, Tom Cruise plays a NASCAR driver. What's that? Concealed weapon. Whose ego writes checks, his body can't cash, and his balls to the wall attitude is dangerous. Where? Right here. But at the same time, he needs a hot girl to cool his jets, or in this case, his engine. Will he actually use it? Kinda sounds like another movie, right? Top Gun, maybe, but apparently it's different. How? Well, for things like this, I like to make a list. Differences between Top Gun and Days of Thunder. Instead of Tom Cruise going fast in a jet, he's going fast in a race car. Instead of Tom Cruise wearing a flight suit and a helmet, he's wearing a race suit and a helmet. Instead of making out with Kelly McGillis, he makes out with Nicole Kidman, though Kidman also ended up being more successful. Instead of Tom Cruise proving how macho he is by playing beach volleyball, he races in a wheelchair. And instead of Top Gun being directed by Tony Scott, Days of Thunder was directed by Tony Scott. Oh. How, how tall are you? Now, we all know that during this movie, Tom was actually married at the same time that he felt the thunder with Nicole Kidman. They actually got married later that year. You're very quick. Talk about fast tracking it, but here are five things you didn't know about Days of Thunder. Here's five things you didn't know about Days of Thunder. Tom Cruise received a speeding ticket for 85 in a 55 mile an hour zone because he felt the need for speed, obviously. He wanted to do his own stunt driving, but due to insurance reasons, he was stopped. Still, 35 cars were completely destroyed. During the car chase seen by the beach, most of the birds were actually run over in the first take. Cue cards were initially put on the car windscreens for Tom Cruise to read while driving, until he crashed the car. Could have seen that one coming. Well, obviously he couldn't, because he couldn't see out the car. Also, finally, Robin Wright Penn, or Robin Wright as she was also known back then, almost played the role of Claire Lewicki, but she was unavailable. So things could have been very different for Sean Penn. Well, sad to say I've run out of Tom Cruise jokes. Not really, I'm just saving more for next time. So don't worry, you can always join me every week for more fun and films on EPAD right here on Max. Till then, this is Ollie. Sign it out. Up next, we've got a movie that's got absolutely nothing to do with horror. Well, maybe Nicole Kidman's hairstyle, but if you stare at her ass for long enough, you can start. <laughs>